Hey everyone, today we are going to go over how to sew up the Lotus side ruffle placket. I have my top sewn up to this point to where we need to add the placket. I have sewn up my side seams. I attached my back hemband. Do not attach the front, only the back. I have my two front ruffle pieces, my two back ruffle pieces, and then my front hemband piece. Now the first thing you need to do is take your ruffle pieces and on opposite sides of your ruffles, you will sew two rows of gathering stitches and then repeat with the back ruffles as well. So just make sure it it's not really going to matter if your fabric is solid, but if your fabric is directional, it will matter. So just make sure you're sewing them on the opposite sides. Once you have that done, you will turn your top to where the side seam is facing up. Once you have your top all laid out to where the side seam is facing up, you are going to get a ruler and you are going to measure three quarters of an inch above the placket opening and mark it. Once you have your marking, you will get your front ruffle piece. Make sure you have it facing down so it's right sides together with your top. Then make sure your gathering stitches are on the inside towards the placket opening. You will align your ruffle piece to where it lines up right at where you just did that three quarters inch mark. Once you have it aligned up here, go ahead and pin it in place. Then you will pull your gathering threads for your ruffle piece until your ruffle is the same height as your top. Once you've pulled your gathering threads, and they are the same height as your top, you can go ahead and pin or clip this in place. Something I am going to suggest that I use that makes it a lot easier is I'm going to add some tape. That way the ruffle does not shift at all. I'm going to start, don't go all the way to the top of your ruffle piece because this top part needs to be loose to be pushed to the back in a later step. So just go ahead and tape it as close to the top as possible of the placket opening, but not all the way to it, but mainly just this part right here. You can also use a washable glue stick as well. Once you have the front in place, you will repeat the same exact thing with the back.
Once you have these all in place and the same height, you are going to grab your ruler again and you are going to mark 3 8 above the placket opening. Once you have your marking that is 3 8 of an inch above this little placket opening notch, you are going to sew your ruffles in place and you will sew from this mark, the 3 8 mark, all the way down to the bottom or you can start at the bottom and sew all the way up to this mark. Do not go all the way to the end of your ruffle piece. Just go to the marking that you just marked and sew both of your ruffles in place. Once both ruffle pieces are sewn in place, we will flip it with the wrong side up. And then we are going to clip in to the corner from the corner up to our stitching. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer to show you. So we're gonna start right here in the corner and we're just gonna go diagonal up to where our stitching starts. Something to know, we are not going to be cutting through our ruffle. Don't cut through the ruffle. You are just going to be cutting the shirt part. So just the shirt part. Put your scissors between the ruffle and the shirt. look just like this. So we have our little clips right up to our stitching, but not through the stitching and not through the ruffle. Now turn it back. Once you have it turned back over, start with the back ruffle and just fold it over to where the seam allowance is getting pushed to the back. And then this top is going to be pushed underneath as well. Then do the same thing with the front, fold it over And then this top piece that is overlapping, push it to the back. And then this 3 8 marking that you drew in the previous step will be kind of where this top triangle gets folded. Once you have those overlapped and that pushed to the back, you will go ahead and give this a good press and then flip it around to the back and you will stitch this triangle piece down. So you will start right at the where your stitching started for the ruffle and you will sew right across to meet the other stitching. Once you've sewn down the little triangle at the top, go ahead and finish the edges with either a serger or a zigzag stitch. Then give your placket and your ruffles a good press. and you are going to top stitch all the way around the outside of your placket. After top stitching around your placket, repeat with the other side, do the same exact thing for the other placket. Then you will 
attach your front hemband and you are all done.